Let's get into it. Cryptocurrency. I'm going to talk about a little cryptocurrency today. Um, we see uh, the year 2020. We see uh, what happened during that year. We had the pandemic and the corona hoax, face mask ritual, worldwide event. And um, we see that through all of the uh, distractions and chaotic programming, we see the reemergence of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. We see that in 2020, Bitcoin went all the way down to roughly $3,000. And then by the end of the year, it was up into $30,000 range. It went past the, the last all time high. It made a new all time high. We see the other currencies, the other cryptos, we see they. They took off as well. Um, I mean, the other currencies, you know, Bitcoin is the, the biggest one. And we see the other ones, uh, if you had some of those coins, you would have made a higher percentage of a profit than you would if you had bought Bitcoin. So we see the cryptocurrency market is. A large part of the uh, financial sector that is digital. And when it comes to Bitcoin, and you know, we have Ethereum, it did the same thing. It took off, so it was at a, a low the whole year, and it went parabolic, and the whole market went parabolic. And you know, the government is involved with Bitcoin, we know they made it, it's like we know this. The fact that we know this, we know this is where it's going with uh, crypto currency being a mainstream point of emphasis when it comes to dealing with uh, finances and payments. And when it comes to crypto, you want to research these coins on coin market cap and you want to see the coins that have a low supply, you want to see the coins that have a high use case. Uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are the top coins. We have Litecoin. We have uh, many coins that should be included in your portfolio. And at this point, it's pretty clear that uh, being involved in crypto in 2020 was very lucrative and we could see once again, the stimulus packages being implemented this year as they were last year. So we can see where this is going. So we're going to build on the interest, which is things that are interesting. And we're going to compound that. And we will uh, be able to have a better uh, positioning as far as seeing what we need to do based on things that we've seen in 2020 as to what we need to do in 2021. So I would encourage you to research crypto and find more, find out more about it. And I also have a ebook that is available for you in the description. So take a look at it uh, if you're interested. And I'll be making more videos and present more material about crypto in the future.